In 1889, then Kansas State Agricultural College students would soon have a place to spend their money. Now, over a hundred years later, students are still supporting the district right across the street from campus. It all began with a building that had a laundry service, bookstore, and barber shop. And more businesses would follow, including Olson Shoes in 1912. 78 year old owner Edwin Olson has spent his whole life in the shoe shop, and he says he's noticed some things along the way. Just the general people, but still the things that haven't changed, still students. Aggieville's always been a student place. But for a business that you might think is out of place fixing heels, soles, and stitching up shoes, Olson says Aggieville is right where they should be. I think we fit in pretty good. Uh, but we have a lot of sorority girls, ferny guys coming with their boots and their shoes. And Olson isn't alone. Krista Bramhall is the interim director of the Aggieville Business Association. She also owns two bars in the district. She says it's the people that got her to invest in Aggieville. The energy and the um, passion that the business owners have down here was exciting. Um, it's, it's contagious. Scott Sieben owns Kite's Bar and Grill. He says the diversity of the district is what makes it great. It's not just bars and, and things. There's there's retail. There's there's all kinds of things for people down here. And you know we're hoping to kind of keep building that Aggieville tradition to, to get people down here. And that's what gives Olson hope for the future. He says Aggieville is embracing the differences between businesses, and even a shoe shop can thrive in the midst of restaurants and bars. People still gotta wear shoes. Even when a business closes, each owner I talk to says the future certainly looks bright in Aggieville. In Manhattan, Alec Gartner, KSNT News.